welcome Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Jason Schwartzman. We don't need it. Okay. Well, Jason. Jason, it's been such a long time since you were yes. here. I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm excited you're here, but I'm a little bit cross you haven't been here for a while. You're upset with me. A little bit. Not much. Not hugely upset. I've got tattoos. They're making me cranky. Oh, I know. They made you. It makes you hurt. It it does. You're do, a, do you have any tattoos? No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm tattooless. Is that right? Tattooless. Uh, tattoo yeah, I think that's what, what do we call them, Ashley? Just the jerks. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's not like I wish I could have some. Well, my, why can't you? My my mom. My mom said I'm not allowed to have any. I mean, not. I mean, it's not like a. I mean, I'm sure I could do it. I'm a man. I'm an adult. But um, I but think. But your mom says no. She so really, right really there. would upset her. She's very against them and uh, motorcycles. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the two things that. Well, you want to get a tattoo of a motorcycle, son? That's oh my what God! You need. That'd be a slap in the face. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that's a... now. The last time you were here, you were just about to go to India. Yes. You went I was. to India to make a film. Yes, I did. How was it? It was incredible. I... Really? Have you ever been there before? No, no, I haven't. I've been very close to India. How close? <laughs> that's Detroit. Ah. No, no, no. I, I actually, I've been to Sri Lanka, which oh, is very right. close yeah, to India. Yeah. It's a, just, it's an island off the coast. It's kind of like India's. Uh, Hawaii. Oh, I. <laughs> well, India is an incredible. You should go. It's incredible. The... I, I probably will after this show. We we could go together. Do you want to go to India? I would together? go with you to India if you really? want. To... Yes, yeah. and that's a promise. I would go with you. You are our witnesses. <laughs> I will go to India with you. You're creeping me out. No, 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 no. Let's go. To, where would we go to in India then? Where would we go? Yeah. Well, we would uh, we would fly to New Delhi. Right. Yeah. Uh, we would have some wonderful food when we landed. Uh, we would have breakfast together. The, um, <laughs> we would. Uh, what the hell happened to you, man? We would. <laughs> I'm a different guy. Yeah, now. you're a different I'm guy. Stuff happened I'm to you in India. Love. I'm full you, you of love. You are full of love. I'm full of love. It's almost like did you, you met the Maharishi and you just kind of uh, opened up to the possibilities of the universe. The place is one. The place does open up your heart. I will say it's a great right. place. It yeah. is a great place. But do I miss you. I, do, I don't mean to. I do miss you. I'm looking at you. I miss you. And honestly, <laughs> what could I? What could I have done differently to have been here sooner? Well, you have to ask yourself that question, Jason, because I have been here every night. I knew, you know, I've been here struggling with, you know, bad lighting and dodgy material for three years. And, and you know, and now you come back like nothing ever happened. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's not have this in front of, the, in front of them. Let's not get mad. All right. Not, but hey, I, 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 did, didn't you get married, though? Did you I get did. married in India? No, no, no. I got married in uh, Studio City. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> also, you got married too. Yes, I did, but I've been, thanks very much indeed. Yeah, do, do you, oh yeah. Oh, mine's, wow. just got, mine's just got the GPS in it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, I, know, I know what you're referring to. Yeah, and it has the electric shock that goes off. Yeah. It's and like then a... stripper cam. Yeah. <laughs> yours is, uh, yeah, yours is really beautiful. Yeah. You want to put mine on? No. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm trying. I'm overwhelmed with love for you, and I'm no, trying I'm in any way that I can. I'm overwhelmed with love okay, for you too, okay, but good. I don't want to put on your stuff. Okay. You okay. Know, maybe that's that. Like be, that'd be like wearing another man's pants. <laughs> wanna? No. I'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> okay. No. No. I, right. it's, it's it's my dream. I could fit All in your right. pants. My dream. Well, you can fit in these things. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. No, Are they baggy. the special, the baggy ones that yeah, the kids enjoy? Yeah, I can't wear them too tight. Oh, really? No, no, no. I got, I I've do, got an I enormous fat ass, though. I really oh. am. I have a team of makeup people shading it Come on. before I you go. You look great. Do you I'm all right. I'm all right. No, tell okay. me about your lovely wife. Where is she from? India, you say? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. Studio City. Well, she's, for, she's actually from Alabama. I've been there. It's very nice. Really? What part yeah. of Alabama? Uh, just outside of Mobile. Never been there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, she, yeah, she's a. So she's Southern, I'm, then. I'm a, That's I'm good. a lucky man. She's Southern, yeah. Yeah, very polite. Very polite. Sexy and flirtatious. All of the above. Right, that's, yeah. that's good. You'll meet her. Not now. I mean, you'll meet her later, maybe. Yeah, sure. When, when we go to India, she'll probably want to come. Yeah, oh, she'll yeah. come with us. Yeah, she'll come with us. Now, <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. what, 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 how did you meet your wife? How did that come about? How did I meet her? Yeah. Um, all right. 
You want to hear the story about how I'm... All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I asked the question. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, sh uh, this is a very odd story. Is it embarrassing? Um, parts of it are quite embarrassing. Parts Can you go straight to those bits? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, basically... This, 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 I went, uh, she used to, at the time, um, uh, manage, she was, uh, managed, uh, ran these, um, great stores here in Los Angeles. Uh, well, there's one in L.A. and one in New York. She was managing both of them, and she had kind of store? A, a, a clothing store. Right, okay. Special, uh, speciality clothing? Uh, uh, beautiful vintage clothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Perfectly respectable yeah, yeah, yeah. profession. Yeah, Right, And, yeah. um, and, uh, anyway, I actually... Wait a minute. What are you going into? You met her in the store? Well, what happened was, I, I, I feel bad, that, but I, I was going out with a, another person. That's all right. Yeah, that's okay. all right. Yeah. And um and uh, anyways, um and that person's a great person if she's watch if she's watching. Um and I and I I miss, I miss you I miss you too. And uh <laughs> but uh no uh, yeah. You don't miss her too. <laughs> no, I just you, you know, got married I, to someone else. I do, but I do, you know, you never want to I don't yes, want yes, to yeah, uh, yeah, I want to do the right thing. Yes, of so course. anyways. Uh, your so, wife's uh, going to love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um there's that's a there's a cobra mug. A rattlesnake mug right there. That's yeah, don't worry about that. It's okay. always there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, um, basically, um, I, my ex-girlfriend's sister was getting married in Texas. Uh -huh. And I had this idea that I would dress up for the occasion, that I would wear something uh, like a light blue suit with some special shoes, something more like a classic, uh, yeah. almost southern wedding type garment. I don't know. I had it in my mind. I couldn't find this anywhere. Right. So I called my ex-girlfriend's. Uh, dear friend and asked her I said I'm trying to find a pale blue or seersucker suit that would fit me and work out for this wedding You know this he, should be a movie this okay. story. Well, yeah. here's what happened. So then she said go she said go to the store Yeah, uh, and uh, ask for the manager and she will help you and and this person used to work for uh, my now wife She used uh -huh. to work at the store. So she right. should go there and ask for her and I thought oh my god because I don't want to go in a store and ask for a manager and have like some girl maybe be mean to me or I don't know how these people are, you know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's a really, you know, they're a nice clothing store and I don't look. So I, um, so I went to the clothing store and it's, there's nothing really particularly funny about this other than I got married to her, um, which isn't funny, <laughs> but um, it's incredible. But um, basically, I, I walked in the store. There was a girl behind the counter with a very angular haircut. And John was, and Kate plus eight. Her. It was it her? Was, it wasn't. It wasn't no. it was. But I went, in, I went in and I asked if this was the girl. She said no. She was in the back. And, and the girl was like, can I help you? She gave me some attitude. I was uh, like, you know, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I started looking around for a pale blue suit. And then it was a tap on my shoulder. And I, this woman said, can I help you? And I turned around and I looked at this woman. And I did think to myself, oh, you're exactly um, who I've been waiting for. Oh, that's the... Yeah. You know, so that, that's the story. I mean, there's no... What a beautiful story, isn't that? Yeah. Now, I have to say... Yeah, that's... I mean, there's nothing crazy that's, about it. That's one of the longer... <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to hear? Stories. You want to hear? They, then I, it gets I can't hear anything else. We're done. Okay, okay, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. No, no, we're, it's it's commercial okay, time, sorry. Jason. Oh, it's, no, no, absolutely. But okay. I think we owe it to the good folks at HBO to mention the name of the yes. show. Yes. Okay. I'm in a show that's gonna that's on Sunday nights called uh, Bored to Death. Bored to Death. Jason Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Please welcome Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, buddy? Hello, sir. Hey. How are you? What's up? How are you? Hey, what's up? Hi. Man, Hi. I thought you were a little dude. You are huge, buddy. Well, <laughs> look at you. You look awesome. Do you work out? Um... Uh, a little bit, you know, uh, no, no, nothing, uh, nothing too heavy. No, not a lot of weights. No, I don't, you know, don't, I don't like the look of the little guys who are big. It looks, um, uh, like Mighty Mouse. Too weird. Yeah, you work out? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. You look like some kind of circus performer yeah. if you do that. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like the... the Midget, go on, say it. I don't like the look. I don't like the circus performer. You don't like midgets, buddy? No, no, no. <laughs> Not what I was going to say. Do That's kind of mean, you know? <laughs> I knew a midget. He was a cute little guy. I ate him. No! <laughs> well, of course I ate him. I'm a, I'm a bone stone killer, buddy. I eat people. It's what I do. Yeah. What are you, uh, what's your uh, typical um, breakfast? 
Uh, Cheerios. Cheerios. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy the flavor on their lips. I ate them since I was a kid. Do you, uh, do you ever eat the Cheerios? I ate them. Oh, yeah, I ate them out of a Ziploc bag, especially, you know, you take a little snack, have them for... You uh... probably keep your marijuana in a Ziploc bag now. <laughs> Do you no. enjoy the marijuana? Do I what? Enjoy marijuana. Uh, I know some people that do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. Hey, this movie looks gay. Gay, yeah. Pardon? I was gonna say this movie looks great, but then I said it looks gay and oh. I decided I was right. <laughs> Well, no, the I movie think... looks really cool. It's got a fox in it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's an it's an incredible movie. It does have a. It's about a, a family of foxes. Have you ever met a fox? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wavy. Yeah, of Wavy. course. Buddy, I eat animals. <laughs> it's what I do. Are you a vegetarian or something? I am a vegetarian myself, and I and I and I understand. I understand that you must. That you are. I have to eat, but it's a circle of life. It's a wheel of fortune. I know. I know. It's the titty titty. <laughs> Wavy, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit quiet. I'm just. I'm. I, I've. Uh, I'm. I've seen you, you before when uh, you know you you filled in on the show and helped out. But tonight, yeah. to really sit and talk with you in yeah, one you're kind of impressed, face, right? Huh? You're kind of impressed by my... I'm a little bit impressed. I'm starstruck. I'm crockstruck. Croc... Well, I, I'm never sure if I'm a crocodile or an alligator, well, to be both. sure. <laughs> I never knew my parents. I was raised by, uh, midgets. Oh. Is Although, that why... when you're raised by midgets, it's not a long way. You know what I'm saying? It... Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm honored to meet you. Well, it's Fine. nice to meet you too, buddy. Hey, you know, I like that show you do, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Dead by the Surprise uh, Moment? Bored to Death, Bored to Death. Bored to Death, yes. yeah, that's yes. it, yes. yeah. You watch that? Yeah, I love that, I got oh, cable. Yeah. What the hell, you think I don't have cable? Wave, wave, I got wave, cable. Wavy, wavy, wavy. Don't you judge me, buddy. So I'm, don't you judge me. I didn't touch you. I didn't touch Big you. Big time, you come here, think I don't got cable? I got cable. Wavy, wavy. Listen, damn. wait, damn. wavy, stop it. Why Damn! Are you ah, wavy. Why you made you... me angry, buddy. I don't like it getting I'm angry. I'm gonna reach out to you right now, and I want to just touch you. I don't want you to slam yourself down. I'm. I'm you I'm... be <laughs> careful. <laughs> wavy. You be. Wavy. I swear to God. Wavy. I will you up. Wavy. I'm gonna come near you right now. All right. But don't with me. All right. All right. You stroke my head, then go on. Look, smell, you can smell my dog. Smell my dog. All right, that's nice. See? Oh, man, nah, yeah, that's nice. I'm a nice guy. That's nice. Oh, you got the touch, baby. I'm a yeah. nice guy. Oh, you went right behind the eye socket. That's I where I like it. Like it. Hey, 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 that's enough. Uh, I don't, uh, sorry. Um, I don't wait. swing that way, buddy, you know. I want you. Wavy, I do want, I hope that you can see the Fantastic Mr. Fox at some points with George Clooney and Bill Murray. Do you, do you like them? Yeah, I like Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> Not, you don't like Bill Murray? Who, who's the other one? Bill Murray. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> How about you, buddy? Are you, uh, you married? Yes, I'm married. How's, how's that working out for you? It's working out very well. I just got back from my honeymoon. Ah, uh, buddy, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, Congratulations. Nice. Thank you. Our... Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry if my clapping looks insincere. It's very difficult to do. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 I know it's hard to do. That's all right. So your wife, how did you guys meet? We met, uh, I met her, uh, she used to work in a, uh, store. I met her in her store. She used to manage a store. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, so what you're saying is she used to work in a store, if I... Yeah, yeah. If I'm correct in no, reading no, no. between the lines here. <laughs> no, you, you got Jeez, is this I kid was... high? Is this kid high? You got me a high kid for the thousand show. Is that what's going I'm on? I'm not. <laughs> too, buddy. Sorry. Uh, keep no, no, going. no. I'm not high. I know you're not. I'm just messing with you, kid. I like you. I like you too. I liked you in that movie with that uh, that chick in it. <laughs> Remember the... that movie with that chick? With the ch oh, I thought you said chicken. Oh, I like chicken. You like oh. chicken? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love chicken. <laughs> I I could eat chicken all day. I mean, seriously, that's not even like an exaggeration. I can. You can do it all day. Ooh, I just. 
Can I ask you some more questions? Sure, buddy. Go how on. did you How did you meet uh, uh, Mr. Ferguson? I'd have never met the gentleman. You never met him? No, sir. I don't care for foreigners. Really? Really? Yeah, he's from another country. I think Gayestan or something. I... Wavy. So you're telling me that you're filling in on the thousandth show for uh, Mr. Ferguson, and you yeah. haven't actually ever met him? You want to know the truth, buddy? I do. I ate him. You wait, you wait, Craig. Yeah. And I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. When they say Scottish food is crap, they're right. <laughs> I still got the taste in my teeth. What are you doing after this? You wanna go ahead and get a bite? Yeah. Hey, uh, you like pizza? Yeah, I love pizza. Me too. Where's your favorite pizza in town? Uh, I like that, uh, Mitzi, Pritzi. What's that called? What's that? Mitzi Pritzi. Mitzi Pritzi? Yeah, everybody goes there, dude. You don't go there? I know. That's I, awesome. I, where's Mitzi Pritzi? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? If I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not messing. You never been to Mitzi Pritzi? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home and look for. I'm gonna go Google Mitzi. Google, Google Mitzi, 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 Mitzi Pritzi. They got the best pizza. And you know what else they got? What? Garlic bread. Do you like that? Man. I swear to God, if I could eat garlic bread all day, I'd be a vegetarian like you, too. Really? Yeah. Well, why don't we go out tonight to Mitzi Pritzi's and get some cheese, cheesy pizzas and some garlic bread? Uh, did you just burp there? <laughs> yeah. I did. Dude. Dude, this is a well, thousand show. Was, you don't burp on this thousand no, no. show, man. I held, first of all, I held it back. It was subtle. You didn't hold it back, buddy. I, I did Nothing I, came no, out. No, no, I smelled it. I smelled no, it. No, it's impossible. You're lying. I, I ain't lying. I have a keen sense you, of smell. Well, I that, think. I don't know. I'd have to go and look up in the dictionary, but I think <laughs> I do. No, I, I burped because... I, I all of a sudden had like a phantom indigestion imagining the pizza and um, Matt, garlic bread. You, you get pre-indigestion from pizza? Huh? You get pre-indigestion yeah. from pizza? Yeah, I get indigestion like I can imagine it and I can feel it. I can imagine it in my brain. Yeah, that's uh, that, Is that, crazy? that would be a problem for me. <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, uh, yeah, we'll go get some pizza. Listen, we're, we're, we're out of time. No. But, uh, yeah, yeah, well... You and I personally aren't out of time. Okay. I, I hope we have more, many more happy years together. I but, would love uh, to. I would love this to. Come little, back. Uh, this little part of the show is out of time. We got to throw the commercials okay. where CBS can, you know, make their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's very expensive to hire a glove puppet to host an important show. <laughs> <laughs> So do you, wait, do you live in Los Angeles? Yeah, buddy, in the sewer system. Oh. And I'm the smallest one there. Oh. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of big crocodile alligators down there. I know. You know who else lives down there? Who else? Val Kilmer. Really? Wow. All right, Jason, we gotta go. Jason Schwarzman, everybody. Pleasure to meet you. Mm. Oh, hi, Jason. <laughs> Craig, hey, how you doing, hi, man? I'm good. How have you been? Fantastic. My wife and I are expecting a little baby. And That's every, great. Yeah, everything's That's yeah. great. Yeah. Listen, you play an amateur detective on your show. I do. Wow. Thank you for watching my show. No, no. I, I've never seen it. I can't afford HBO. But I was wondering if you could help solve a little mystery for me. Yes, is it the mystery of why this couch is so damp? No, that's an easy one. I slept here last night. Wait, what? Well, never mind. The mystery is, why is my side hurting? Well, it's not really a mystery. It's more of a medical problem. Well, maybe if you just take a look. It's right around right, 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 oh right here. Oh, my God. Craig, you've been shot. That's a bullet. Uh, well, you're, you're, you you got to go to the hospital. You're I've bleeding to death. No, no, no. You're a pretty good detective. I would never have known that. I'm going to start the show. I'll, I'll see you out there, okay? Craig, don't try to be a hero. You could die. This is terrible. Oh, you're telling me. I was aiming for his head. Oh, God. Why is this a killer? He's a killer. He's 
Let's welcome Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Jason Schwartzman. You know, I'm good. And may I just say, fantastic moustache. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, much. really? Thank it's you very like much. It's like a third eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> you like it? I do like it, yeah. Uh, I get, like, uh, my wife loves it. My dog loves it. Uh, some of my close friends love it. Wait a minute, it. your dog loves it? How do you yeah. know your dog? Well, your dog's like, oh, rough. It well, looks old. <laughs> he, uh... Uh, sometimes when I come home, you know, I want to kiss from him and he'll kiss my face a little. Like, but then when he gets to my mustache, it's like a whole nother yeah. thing explodes in his brain. And he just like, he's a, he loves it. He lo I think he loves well, the you know, texture. Well, you know what it is, of course. It th he thinks it reminds him of another area of... Ah, <laughs> of me. No, no, of himself. <laughs> I know. Ooh, oh, that's kind of gross. Well, that's, it? but it's a, uh, I, I love it when he loves me. Yeah, hey, yeah, what kind of a dog have you got? He's a French bulldog. Oh, I've got a French bulldog. Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. I've got three dogs. I've got a German Shepherd, a Jack Russell, and a French bulldog. Wow, what, what's your French bulldog's name? Barbara. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Barbara? not cabbage. Cabbage, but we call her Barbara sometimes because, uh, uh, I don't know why. Why? Uh, no, tell me why. Well, because cabbage gets shortened to cabs and then babs and then Barbara. And then oh, it went like that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. What's your dog called? Uh, my dog's name is Arrow. Arrow? Joel Schwartzman. Arrow? Three names? I, I named him Arrow, and then one day I realized his name technically and legally is Arrow Schwartzman. And then I thought, well, he should have a middle name, so I named him Joel. Arrow Joel. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, but he's a good man, and our I, dog should meet. Maybe because you have a male French bulldog, I have a lady French bulldog. Hey. 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 And <laughs> she has nine nipples. Really? Yeah. Wonderful. It's kind of weird. Wow. So how does nine, how does, it, well, how many do they normally have? Well, I think they, I think it's usually eight. They line up four at each side, but, the, but she has eight, 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 four and then five. Wow. Yeah, I know. All people, right. People are driving in from Oklahoma to see this dog. Man. Sure, Barbara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an amazing thing. Old Niner. Hey, so the uh, the uh, the show is fantastic. I mean, just Thank sensational. You. Thank I you. I mean, I, I I I was saying, uh, you know, uh, I I stole the first four episodes because they gave them out for people to review them in the press. Right. So I I just stole. I'm not really the press, but I. You know, and you, you, they're great. Oh, I mean, hey, really, thank really you very good. much. I you, appreciate that. You do a lot of. No, wait, no, wait, no. Excuse me a second. Excuse me. Look, I saw them. You did not see them. <laughs> you don't know. I could be just a Hollywood. Ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not. They are great. Um, Thank the, you. you. There's a lot of sexiness this season, though, as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, just the, even that clip you just showed. Yeah, yeah, I'm I in know. an S and M dungeon. Are you into that? Do you like to be beaten up sexually? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not into it, like, on purpose, but if it happens by accident, I go with it. Love it. Yeah. Jeffrey Peterson. Jason, Ted Danson left his roach clip. <laughs> really? Uh, you, do you want me to take In it? In your pants. Oh. I knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah. Was I knew it was coming. Happen, yeah. I knew it was coming. He has a limited repertoire, but it's all offensive. Yeah. But it works. It's, it's one note, but it works. Yeah, it's one very good note. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like the S&M? No, I've never really been into it much. I don't yeah. like getting pushed around. It makes me feel like I'm at work, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's, I mean... Well, you know, I, I try to not be judgmental. No, and, and I, mean, I, I go with it. If you're into it, I go with it. Maybe for me, uh, it might. It's a little mean. Plus, uh, my wife is pregnant, and I. That's then. That's no. I don't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, but you know, like I say, you never know what happens. The future right. is wide open. Right. I mean, that's right. And if your wife decides that she wants to dress you up in a little leather outfit and paddle your ass. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Don't uh, go to bed angry. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that that leather outfit, uh, the first day I put it on was so tight, but it really... Breathes with you a bit, it doesn't it? Breathes yeah. with you, baby. And Appar it, apparently. It feels good, apparently. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. it does feel... I have a leather jacket, but that's yeah. as far as I'm prepared yeah, to go. Yeah. Uh, I've never worn leather pants before, and... Um, I did yeah. in the 80s. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, it was a bad time. Um, can I ask a really personal, dumb question? Do you wear them with underwear or no? Did you? 
You don't. Because you're not, you shouldn't, right? If you can't. I mean, it, if you wear you, leather pants, you're like, oh, exactly. like Jim Morrison, and then yeah, you right. take your pants and you get your little bunny rabbit underpants on. It's yeah, not the same. Yeah. No, you wear leather pants, just like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Look at this. Yeah, I'm the Lizard King with my little underpants. Oh, you my can. God. There's a great Doors documentary that just came out. Oh, really? Do you like the Doors? Uh, I, I do, and uh, it's called, oh, jeez, I, th I think it's called No One Here Gets Out Alive, but you, it just came that out. That was the book, wasn't it? That was the... Yeah, that uh, was the, uh, the book, but it might also be called that, but it's, it's really great, and it also... It starts off with a film that Jim Morrison made, really? and he's in. It's never been seen before. Wow. And the film kind of is woven in throughout the documentary. It's actually fantastic. It's good. i got to see that. It was really great. And there's something, you know when he says Mr. Mojo Rising? Yeah, yeah. I never knew what that meant. That Those are his uh, initials. I mean, those are the letters of his name rearranged. He came up with it on the spot. I, you know, when, he's, when he sang Mr. Mojo Rising, I think I, I understood what was going on there yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you I mean, know. It is, yeah it's clear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Mojo. It was Mojo. something about, you know, Mr. Mojo yeah, right. resin in God. your pants, you know. Uh, I wish I, uh, yeah, whatever. No, I don't want to say it. You, no, no, go ahead. No, no, I shan't. Oh, you shan't? I shan't. Have you been in Rhode Island or Connecticut? <laughs> both, both. I went on a road trip of, yeah, really? uh, of all strange places that would use that kind of language. No, no. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever been to England? They talk like that there? Yes. Yeah. I went, uh, I, I shan't show you my scrotum. <laughs> Man, I, I was just there. I felt, uh, I don't know, I felt dumb. No. The accent is so beautiful. Uh, Only some. So, I know, but yeah. even still, it's so, it's just incredible. And I just felt like you know more than me and you're smarter yeah, than me. That's a, that's a big, typical mistake a lot of Americans make. It is, You hear right? English people talk. And yeah. they, they're like, I say, could you possibly yeah. pass me the ketchup? You're like, oh, they're very refined. I they? know, oh, that's yeah. how I felt. I felt dumb the whole time. No, I mean, then you got to listen to the other accent. The Cockney's like, I don't yeah. mate, all right. Yeah. 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 But what you did with your dog's name, is that sort of like a Cockney thing? You, like, sound, something rhymes with something, and then you... Oh, the rhyming slang? Yeah. yeah well, it's not really with a dog, but we used to do it a lot, like apples and pears, stairs, that mm. kind of thing, trouble and strife, wife, that's how they do it. Are there some accents that you couldn't understand at all? Sometimes, sometimes when I go back to Scotland, I have trouble understanding the accent. Really? Yeah. Wow. Of Russian immigrants. <laughs> Do you know what's interesting? There's a lot of um, Pakistani and Indian immigrants in Glasgow, and they're all, uh, and a lot of Italian immigrants. And what happens is the children, the second generation, mm. they have Glasgow accents, but they have also Italian or mm. Indian. Or, so you'll get wow. Indian guys who kind of talk like that. You know, is a wee wow. bit Scottish and a wee bit Indian like that as well. I love that. Yeah, it's very, Why not? It's very, it's really I kind of it. like whoa, hey. I love, I, so I love when things get all mixed up and yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, and insane. see, we're back to the S and M thing right I now. Know. Yeah. I know. I want that outfit. I'm gonna get that outfit back, and I'm you gonna find get... you, and we're gonna. We should no, just go. I don't know, man. You put on your leather jacket, and I'll put on no, my. No, man. No, I. I, I don't. I think it would get weird. You think? Yeah. Why? Well, you know, our wives, the dogs. You know. Yeah, I know. I know. It's kind of like, the, if that moment was here, it's gone, I think. True. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe next time I come, I'll just no, walk No, man. No, it's yeah. not okay. happening. Yeah. I'm not going to push it. No, don't. I'm not going to push no, it. No, no, it's not. I know. I mean, you're, you're I no, I don't. I won't. But it's not, it's not, it's not, it looks great. It looks, yeah. uh, I look like a race car driver. You look good. Hey, you know who, uh, yeah, yeah, you're like a little kind of evil NASCAR driver in the, you know, I'm the black you, outfit. I'm telling you, I loved being in it. No, no, it's good. The guy uh, at the S&M store, I went to an S&M store, they made it, they custom made it for me. Yeah. This is something we could talk about. Yeah. So we went to this place um, in New York that uh, is an S&M store. I believe you. And, um, <laughs> and I went in, and, and beyond, S&M was actually on the second floor. The first floor was just leather, leather jackets. All, right, regular. It could, it could yeah. be anything. And then the third floor, people that like to dress as woodland creatures. And yes, that yes, yes. And plushies and all that oh, was upstairs. Oy, oy, oy. Um, yeah. Mascots. Uh, it was beautiful. Um, but, down, <laughs> but downstairs was the uh, sex uh, floor. Right. And it's covered with, um, you know, dildos, chains, uh, whips. Yeah. Dildos? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 tons of them. Wow. And there were dildos down there, and again, I'm not judgmental. <laughs> so this is not to come off, you know, like I'm judging, but there was actually a dildo in there that was shaped, was a building. 
I swear to I swear to God, it had windows in it and everything. Wow. It was a it hey, was a look, building. You know, it's, it's very difficult to get an apartment in New York City. That's true. That's true. Wow. I know. I know. And you know, if there's. Not enough. If there's it, a view, so much the better. It was amazing. You know something? I, and when I was in there, I actually bought Jonathan Ames, who created the show. He who was I here believe, last night. I believe he was here last yeah. night. And, um, That's a I, weird dude, man. He's, he's a beautiful weird. man. I yeah, love that man. Oh, yeah, he's wonderful. Yeah, but he's weird and wonderful. He, 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 in fact, married me and my wife. He got ordained and married me and my wife. My wife and I. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. But anyway, All right. I bought him uh, as, a, uh, as a start present to kick off the show. <laughs> I was in the dungeon, I was looking around, or in the dungeon store, and I thought to myself, what could I get him? I want to get him something here, you know, where our first episode is about me locked in this leather outfit. I should get him something from here. So I bought him these, I mean, for real, um, chains that, uh, that you bind yourself with on your uh, wrists and your legs, I mean, and you wrap around your waist, chains, I mean, full on prisoner. <laughs> and um, I bought it, I bought it, and... Um, the store, the S and M store. No, no, it's our, the uh, the store. The store was right in the middle of a very uh, young uh, shopping area with lots of other. You wouldn't know it was there. Right. And I got the. It's not a very funny story, but it, I I bought the uh, I bought the bag of chains and I walked out of the store and then I decided to go shopping, and I went into a clothing store and there was a jacket that I wanted to try on and they were like, do you want to try it? It was a very nice store. Um, I wasn't going to get the thing because it was expensive, but I want to try it on. And I went in, because we both love fashion. Oh, I love fashion. And I went in there and uh, the guy was like, you know, they buzz you in. It's one of those places, very fancy. And they, yeah, yeah. the guy lets me in and he's like, sir, would you have to put down your bag and try something? I go, yes. Yeah, and I put down the bag. You cannot believe what a sound a bag of chains. It's loud, isn't make. it? And it's, it was so crazy. Everyone in the store looked. I, it was like, and I was trying to explain. I was like, it's from the store. It's from my friend. It's an SNL. You tied it. Never mind. And uh, I left. I didn't even try on the jacket. And um, and then I gave Jonathan the present. And uh, he, I don't know. I wish I had told you he, I had given it. You could have asked him if he'd used it. Yeah, well. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it's, uh, I'm glad you told me the story. But I'll get, I'll get you some. I'm going to get you everything. Yeah, yeah. I'll get, get me some uh, chains and whips and stuff. You want it all? No, I don't. No, no. No, I see all that people rubbing themselves with feathers and stuff. I don't like it. Knock it off. I don't you know? like it. I just feel like it should be sweet. Yeah, yeah, have a good time. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Yeah. We're out of time. Okay. <laughs> this is Washington, everybody. We're out of time. How are you? You know, I'm good and I'm very happy to see you. I was worried you weren't going to make it because you were, you know, sitting there in the, the airplane. Did you get, did you buy your ticket from Air Miles? Is that the thing? Did you have? It was, uh, I, 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 that's not what happened. What happened was we were just about to take off and there was a problem with the door. Oh. Uh, it, it actually, it was open. And yeah, that's bad. You, that can't, you can't fly around it, the door. It was cracked. It was. A, it literally was. There was a problem, so we went back. And uh, but Did I'm you happy to be here. Did you have to, you no, I stayed them? right there and sat um, next to everybody. Um, for did a you? Long time. And, uh, did they? Did they give you warm nuts? Um, <laughs> do you know they actually? They were cold. They were cold nuts. Well, they sometimes were. the altitude can do that, especially that's especially true. if the door's open. That's true. Yeah, I know. Well, the altitude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. But hey, I, I had a lot of nuts on the plane. Can I slow plane. you down a minute for just for a second? I get two problems. Two problems. Why? Can I just say I'm happy to see you? I'm very happy to and see you. Really quickly, Chris Hardwick, thank you for uh, being here. <laughs> don't, please don't. Please don't because he'll come back if you say that. Are you sure? Yes. No, I watched him uh, being me and he seemed to know a he lot about He knows a lot about your career. Isn't that kind of creepy and weird? It was strange. I, yeah. But I know a couple of things about Christopher Ryan Hardwick, born November 23rd, 1971 in Kentucky. <laughs> That's creepy, Mr. Beardy Weirdy, if you don't mind me saying so. It is kind of nice, this. I like it. Thank you. Have you ever had one? No, I can't grow them. I just look like I'm wearing a kind of scraggly turtleneck. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I mean, everything else is fine. I've you got a nice big penis and everything, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it is. Would, it, would you if you could? Yes, I would. would. I would grow a beard. I tried to grow a moustache once on this show, yeah. and people went crazy. <laughs> Good crazy. No, bad crazy. Oh, really? They were turning up at CBS with pitchforks and stuff. They were very angry. Does your wife have a... Moustache? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> um, Does your wife have a moustache, you cheeky... Girl with a dragon tattoo. No. <laughs> no, she doesn't have a moustache. She doesn't have a moustache. I was a joke. Uh, no, I, but is she, uh, but does she mind scruff on you or? She something? likes it actually. She likes a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of crackling. Cause some mm. do, some don't. Some, you know, you have a beard. <laughs> when, do you feel a, a, like an affinity with other dudes with beards? No, but um, I do feel like uh, w women fear me now more with the beard. And men do, men do have you. a respect in a new way. Right, well, 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 when you say women fear you, do they fear you as in that guy is genuinely frightening and I need to get away from him? Oh, I or do they fear, fear you as in, oh, I fear his sexual power. Yeah. That's what they fear. I mean, like, I'm... And then you I, balance I scare it. them with... Yeah, right, of course. Then you balance it out with the sweater with dots on it. Yeah. I'm a walking contradiction. Yeah, that's right. They go, be afraid. I'm a sexual animal. Oh, everything's fine. I know. I'm an idiot. I, this is so strange. I actually, when I, um, I, I got this sweater, and uh, I asked the girl that I was by, and I said to the girl, do you like it? And she goes, it's so cute. And I said, but does it make you want to take a shower with me? Uh, and she said, absolutely not. And um, then I, that's why I bought it. <laughs> because you want it, yeah, because you wanted to counteract the beard. I get it. It's yeah. perfect sense. I'm trying to be like a opposite, you know, yin and yang, a walking yin and yang. I think that's a very good thing to be, but I don't. Ah, see what I did? I held two completely opposing points of view. And somehow made it make sense to me. It was kind of like I had a beard and a sweater with spots on it. <laughs> hey, listen, how's your baby? Because your baby was born uh, like a month before mine. Yes. Um, my baby's amazing. Yeah. And um, it, did you have? Did you to have be one? honest with you, the shower thing, I regret saying that as it came out of my mouth, it was stupid. What do you mean about, earlier on about that? Both times about this sweater. The, the first time that it happened in real life, and the second time it just happened in oh, this so real life. Oh, so it was a true story. <laughs> I, I, you regretted it the, the, when it happened then, and now you're regretting it. Tell yeah, it was yeah. both bad, both. Two negatives. But I will say that I did buy this for my baby because... Um, Your baby must be huge. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, it, I bought it because when I hold her, and I know that it will make her happy. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. See, what a lovely, a bit, and how about the beard? Does your daughter like the beard? Um, I don't think so. Oh, I don't know. You know, I don't think she doesn't. I mean, I, I don't... How old is she? She's almost a year? No, yeah, no, she's no. nine and a half months. Nine and a half. Oh, no. Oh, ten? Yeah, almost ten, almost ten months. Yeah, because uh, my son is uh, nine. My son is a month younger What's than your name? daughter. Le uh, Liam. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I got two. I got Milo and Liam. Yeah. I have two boys. Uh, what is, so what's your daughter's name? Marlo. Marlo. That's adorable. Thank you. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, where'd you get the name Liam from? Well, you know, my people are sometimes named things like that. <laughs> yeah. But is it a family name specifically? No, no, Even no. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's actually uh, Gaelic for William. Right. Yeah, but I didn't want to call my son William James, because his middle name is James, because William James wrote Varieties of Religious Experience, which is a very difficult know. and uh, thick uh, piece of work to get through, and I didn't want him trying to live up to that when he was just doing ABCs, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever read William James's Varieties of Religious Experience? No, but I'm going to um, kindle it. <laughs> and it's not going to be as big. It's, you know, it, I think kindle is the way to go with it, because then you can... Can you spread the text in kindle? You can spread the text. And can you put in... Hey. <laughs> is that, that's the voice you use when you're being beard Jason instead of sweater Jason, right? That was about the neck. Yeah. That, that was, was a, about the next. That week. was gonna. Oh yeah, you can spread it. Yeah. No. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I will. I will. I'll kindle it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's. it's no, I, I don't. It's know. pretty tough. I'm a terrible reader. Really? Well, I love the idea. I love reading, and I buy books. But I, I'm a slow. I'm a slow reader. Is the is the thing. But right. you're a you're a voracious fast reader. No, no. I, I I read a lot, but I take my time to do it because sometimes if I read fast, I miss total pages. Are you? But can. <laughs> but are are total pages? Are total you a page. night reader? Yeah, I read at night. Yeah. And you don't get drowsy and... I do, and eventually I fall off into something we call sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm okay with that. It just it seems to happen every night. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I know, it's do you, do you, uh, when do you read? Early um, the morning? I read... No. <laughs> First thing, I read in the yeah. shower. Read in the, read the shower, shower, yeah. Uh, no, I read um, when I can, but... T typically at night is a terrible time for me to do that because it, it is it does induce a real like narcoleptic feeling which is what I don't want I think people t say they love books because you know they say if they have a television on at night it, that keeps them up in some way and they it gets their brain more activated not this show buddy yeah <laughs> no that's yeah. not true well but um, but I prefer to read a bit more a bit more awake yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. I, it certainly, you know, I found with my older boy, you'll probably get this with your daughter later on, uh, that I read uh, out loud to yes. him. Yes. And I've read all the Harry Potter stories out wow. loud. And I would never have read them. Wow. And they're fantastic. Yeah. They are fantastic. I For know. example, now I know when I see you wearing that sweater, I go, that's a Hufflepuff sweater. I know that. You think so? Easily. Yeah. Easily. You, you got a Gryffindor beard, you got a Hufflepuff yeah. sweater, but you got a kind of Slytherin thing going on with your hair. I, I could have just been like a guy who was like, hasn't graduated Hogwarts, I'm just around, like, lethargic. No, no, there's none of that in Harry Potter. There's no, there's no place for that. There's no Hogwarts? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, there's Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. What, what is there no place for? A janitor at Hogwarts? Yeah, you do. Well, Hag, Hagrid's kind of the groundskeeper, dude. I mean, that, that's true. <laughs> have you read the Harry Potter? Of course. Well, so uh, ask me anything then, see if I'm right. Uh, <laughs> how does Voldemort keep... keep eluding death. How does he keep coming back? I can only answer that in one way, and that's in parcel tongue. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes. That is amazing. Parcel tongue. That's amazing. That's amazing. Mm. Uh, well, if you have any books on tape, I mean... Yeah, sure. <laughs> I just outed myself. Yeah, you, know, you do the books on tape? Of course. I like the books on tape, too. You have to. Oh, they're fantastic. Well, I have a very specific thing that I do, which is if it's a memoir, I will get it on tape because I like to hear the author. It's as if they're telling me their life story. Do you mean, for example, American on Purpose by Craig Ferguson? Hello! <laughs> nice. Hey, we're out of time. No. Th th yes. Wait, Bored to Death, though, is my favorite show. Bored to Death, Project Runway, Mythbusters. There you are. Uh, what, well, you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'll talk about my show. You want it real quick? Yeah. You want to just give me 30 seconds? Sure, 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 sure. Go ahead. <laughs> my show is called Bored to Death. And good, it's on good HBO. Mm -hmm. It comes out October 10th, and it's really funny this year. The first two years were great, but this year, I do think, is the best one. Really? Because it was pretty good before. But this, I really feel very proud of that, this one. And I appreciate you saying that, but I think that this one is the best one. There is insane stuff this year. There is plushy sex. <laughs> plushy sex? You know, you know plushies. Is that where, where people dress up? Mascots. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, plushies. You could Google, you Google that. Yeah, Google it. And then, uh, yeah. And then, uh, and then there's all, you know, elder love. Elder love? Yeah, uh, love between um, <laughs> ages that are very far apart. Oh, um, and then I don't think you're selling it very well at all. It's actually a very I, good show. I am selling it great. No, no, it's freaking me out, man. Oh, no, it's great. No, there's too much beard, not enough spotty sweater, right? What are you doing? There's Ted Dancing as Don Ted Quixote. Ted Dancing is awesome in it. Right, now listen. Uh, and he's on CSI. You could catch that. Yeah, okay. they know, right. So you know you Chris want? Hardwick plays the melodica, right? No, no, he doesn't. He does. Really? Like yeah. this? The melodica, not... What's yeah, the not, melodica? Uh, it's this one. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, he does, he does play that one, yeah. <laughs> it looks like, a, you know, the melodica is like a... It's a plastic oh, piano. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, that's the one he plays, yep. Yeah, plastic piano. Now, uh, you put it in your mouth. You, what? You put it in your mouth. <laughs> Yep, that's how he plays it. Yep. Uh, you can run your finger up and down. It makes it goes. Blah. <laughs> you know the melodica. Yeah, I know what I know what you're.
you're talking about. Oh, you, you didn't give me that feeling. I like that you have two wedding rings. I have two as well, but they're on the same finger. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> well, you. Uh, <laughs> They're, they're not two wedding rings. That's a wedding ring right that's, there. From this that's, a, that's, a, that's a family ring that's, there. That and, is and beautiful. Then, watch, see how awesome this ring is. Uh, see that? Yeah, see I that? actually... Uh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> Uh, I, I dated a girl a long time ago who had a ring very similar to that, and uh, I was playing basketball, and it hit my finger. I never play basketball. Really? You and, surprised me. Uh... And, uh, yeah, in case you couldn't tell, and I hit it, and I, my whole finger was basically broken. They had to saw it off my finger, saw it off my hand. So on that note, check out Bored to Death. Bored to Death uh, and on I, HBO. We don't even have time for this. Jason Schwartzman, everybody. <laughs> on the show Happy Endings, uh, which is Wednesdays on ABC. Take a look at this. <laughs> Eliza Coop, everybody, Eliza Coop. How lovely to see you. Thank Welcome you. to the show. You look sensational. Thank You've you. met Jason. Do you guys know each other? Yes, I feel very close to you now. How are you? I'm great. I like wow. your sweater. I like your tat. I like your tattoo. Let, let me ask you, do, do you like them? Wait, wait, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. We're, sorry. we're just, we're just, hey. sorry. we're just having a moment. No, what happened? Sorry. And I'll sit here with my snake in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Kelly. Do you like sweater Jason or beard Jason Bear? Oh, one and the same. I like it. We didn't see that one coming. I like no, it. I. One and the same. No. Okay. Thank I think you. we did see. You I think he's very planned out. Do you like a man with facial hair? I do. I yeah. enjoy it. And what I'm about hair. a man covered in hair who plays on a tire swing in the backyard? Oh, that's my favorite. You do? Do you, that do you, do you is like my a, do you like a manly man? I do. Oh, right. Okay. Especially on a tire swing. <laughs> That's good. I mean, that is manly. Your show looks very good. It's good. Yes, yeah. that, that, there was a gentleman wearing a dress there. There was, yeah. That's just the kind of thing I enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 hap what, 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 uh, what, you, what happens no. there then when he's wearing that dress? Do you yeah, get it on? We oh, big time. No, um, you don't. No. It's ABC, half You're past right. day. Yes, you don't. get it on big time. You probably kiss and go, ooh. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. They censor it all. The, I get censored here too. You do? I know it says it on the bottom of your, your mug. There. Yeah, I, well, that was just, it says censored there because once, uh, were you on that night? I drew a penis on the bottom there and then oh. it got mad. Okay. I don't know, it does sound familiar. Yeah, well, <laughs> but what, what's familiar about it? Penis? <laughs> yes. So, so penis, Something like you said. Penis, there was a night, there was a drawing. Yeah. Mm. So, where are you from then? I'm from New Hampshire. New Hampshire? My wife is from New Hampshire. No. Yes! This is amazing. That's weird. We're the only two no. people from New Hampshire. Well, no, I've seen other people no, there. Yeah, yeah. There's only I, is two. your wife from New Hampshire? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I like your tattoo. That's rather nice. What does that say? Live free or die. That's the New Hampshire, New Hampshire thing. thing. Oh, look, I've got uh, I've got a tattoo that has something similar yeah, on it. Let's get into it. Let's yeah. Take oh, it right yeah. off. And then we can look at the tattoos. Oh. The uh, join. Oh. Join or die. See, but it has New England on it because it was before the uh, formation of the states. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Before that. Mm. <laughs> I'm not originally from here. Uh, really. No, I'm from really? New Hampshire. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. I know the accent. Do, I know you, uh, well. do, do you go back there a lot? I do. Well, not recently because of the show that I'm on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good call. Come on a show. Uh, um, happy Endings. <laughs> tell us. Tell, yeah. yeah, tell us all yeah. about it. I'm on a show called Happy Endings. Yeah. yeah. Funny enough. And it's, um, um, it's all about six friends. Yes. I am one of them. Wait a minute. <laughs> good pitch. Go watch Wait it. Wait a minute. Six friends? Is it three boys and three girls? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So... That, that sounds... Wow, that's it. Wicked yeah. original. Yeah, wow. You're, yep. That's very New Hampshire, isn't yep. it? Wicked it is. original. It yeah, is. I recognize that. Yeah, my, my wife says that. Yeah. Sarcastic. My sister, your wife. <gasps> right. That would make you my sister-in-law. We're not breaking any rules. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I guess we're not. <laughs> All right, so listen, at the end of uh, Jason's little bit, he didn't have time to do mouth organ awkward pause or win the big cash prize, but you do have time. Oh Would you like God. to do any of those? Exciting. Mm, yes. Great. <laughs> Let's do it. What do you want? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or go for the big cash fri fries? Um, big cash fries. <laughs> Mouth organ. Obviously. Really? Oh. No. Do you just want to watch her play a mouth organ? No, no, no. I just. I, I'm, I like I'm in, dude. I, 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 I'm fine. I'm, uh, I like music, but cash or mouth organ. The last one I don't know about. Awkward pause? We could do a three way awkward pause. I think we just had one already. We've already, we've already covered that one. I can do whatever you want. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you, you know what you want. You know what you want, and you're the guest. You're the guest. I'll do um, awkward pause. Okay. <laughs> she's pretty good, I think. You think she's good? She's got it. She's got, you know, she's got the X factor, they call it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go, everybody. We'll be right back. Next week on The Late Late Show, Claire Danes, Jim Parsons, and Liza Minnelli. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> it's really hard. So, uh, yeah. All right. Huh? Hey, uh, I feel like we're watching TV. I'd Ooh. like to. Yeah, think we are. We're we're watching you right now. <laughs> we? Looking good. That guy's great. Is oh. that Patrick? I love that guy. Oh. Hey, Patrick, didn't you date Jeff? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hey, date is a very. We should do a show where we all share an apartment. <laughs> that's a great idea. Who drank my milk again? <laughs> the Scottish flag on my underwear drawer. No <laughs> that is so funny. Good night, everybody. Good night, Jack. Yeah, you can, you can warm up if you want. You can warm up a little bit. I said, get your diaphragm moving. <laughs> That's that bit, isn't it? Or is it a birth control thing, a diaphragm? <laughs> Both? It's both? I think it's both. Right, well, uh, all right, don't overdo it. You don't want to, what we do is, we, uh, uh, Jason Schwartzman here tonight, everybody, is going to be the voice and personality of the robot Jeff. Now, what we'll do is we'll take you backstage, put you in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> your personality is then sucked from your body. Okay. That's not the bad bit. Uh, okay. okay. There's no bad bit to it. No. And put in the robot where then you will become Jeff the robot for the evening. Okay, okay. He doesn't have a beard. Okay, but uh, so yeah, your your beard's probably going to get sucked off as well, and yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm I'm ready for it. Is there any? You have any words of advice? Yeah, yeah. You probably want to say how awesome I am uh, every okay. now and again. Okay, okay. Right. Come forward, come forward. Okay. Because because now, now if you back up a little bit, yeah, we look like say, we yeah. are the same height. Yeah. And we're talking to each other, and now yeah, it's Lord yeah, of the Rings. Right, 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 right. Listen, we have to go to Mordor. <laughs> Mordor, take this. I can't go with you. You're too tall. We'd never let. They'd never let us in. Take this. What? What is it? It's my. It's my hands. Ooh. Oh my God. No, you do that. I... That's awkward. Turn. No. Uh, no. Well, uh, ah, sorry. Get... Ow. Uh, now, how long have you been feeling this sensation? Turn your head and go. <laughs> About uh, five seconds. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm afraid uh, I've got very bad news for you. What is it? Well, you have an uh, ingrown testicle. Can you pluck it? I didn't say it had feathers. Oh, sorry. I didn't say it had, I didn't say it had feathers on it. I said it was ingrown. Oh. And soon it will take over your entire body and, and you'll become nothing but testicle. Do you have any... Uh, Advice? Yeah. Yes. 
but not about this. Uh, <laughs> So, anyway, you're going to be the robot. Oh, are you still doing this? High five. Yeah. Oh, no. I can move back to you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, let's dance. Okay, which way? Ah, you lead. Wait, wait, wait. What is this tick audiences have about clapping for the most crap thing? I don't know. I, you, I, I'm not used to being in front of an audience every day, and mm. I love it. Uh, but, uh, I know my... I, I love it. I want... I, I, I'm used to it and I don't care for it. <laughs> this is exciting. Step forward here. <laughs> I like this. Where do I look now? I... <laughs> this should be our album cover. Yeah. What's, what's our band called? <laughs> And remem remember that two-year-old kid in Indonesia who smoked? That made me sad. I'm thinking, why is that kid taking a smoke break? He should be making my iPhone. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> I, it was a joke. I, I, it was a joke about a terrible thing. <laughs> you, ever, you ever smoked? Uh, how do you think I got here, Craig? <laughs> Smoking? <laughs> no. I'll tell you about it later. I see. <laughs> this whole I'll tell you about it later really works against you in the sidekick capacity, you know what? <laughs> That's right, now you're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, ha, ha. you're the man, Craig. You're the man, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, howdy. I love you. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. That's, that's all right. It's a little on the nose, though. I like you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the same thing, but not as good. Uh, do you want to throw to the commercial break? you want to try that? I'm going to try it. All right, you, you're going to try it. <clears throat> You'll be good at it. Is that Craig, you clearing your throat, or was it that guy over there again? <laughs> Craig, tonight's commercials oh, right. are brought to you by ExoSleep. <laughs> Usual crap. <laughs> Except the robot sidekick seems to be a little shy. <laughs> is it shyness? Is it nervousness? Is, is the pod not working? Were you not it's... sucked out properly? What's happening? No, I, I got sucked per, uh, properly. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's more that I just, uh, you know, I, I want to do well for you and, and for everyone to my right. <laughs> He doesn't mean all of you, he just means lesbian. Ro, you just mean lesbian. You just yeah, mean yeah, lesbian. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Just those four right here. To yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, the ladies of lesbian row. Yeah, I'm here. Uh... Yeah. People often say to me, Craig, how do I get to lesbian row? And I say, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> you want to do a quick mouth organ, uh, you know? Yes, let's go. All right, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that, did you? Yes, sir. Yeah, you're coming out of your pod a little now. That's yeah. good. Just, uh, yeah, relax, enjoy it. Go with the flow. Feel your way through. Uh, take off your pants. Well, how can I take off my pants? If I take them off, I can't put anything in my pants. Ah! Excellent. <laughs> well, there you are. Uh... <laughs> So, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's time for tweets and emails. Tweets and emails! Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right. Hell to the metal, we'll get in there soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm groaning to the max. So, here now with your tweet and your Email time, okay? All right. This is from Chris in Kansas City in Kansas, uh, who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I feel guilty when I walk down the street and ignore people handing out flyers. How should I handle these situations? Well, don't ignore them, you rude bastard. 
take their flyer and do what other people do. You go, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, brah, your job, absolutely. <laughs> like that, just like that. What do you do when someone hands you a flyer? I just walk by them. Okay. <laughs> this is from Janine in Plano, Texas. Ever been to Plano, Texas? Like to go to Plano, Texas? Got a little place there. Like to go swimming, get naked, throw beads at people, take LSD, maybe stick things <sighs> in your pants. I, uh, I dated someone from that place. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Maggie? Really? You really did date someone from... I did. I did. And her, her family ruined it. <laughs> what did they do? Discover your secret? Don't tell anybody about my secret. <laughs> I won't. You can later if you want. Okay. As soon as I make one up, I'll be telling everybody. <laughs> Anyway, Janine says, hey, Craig, I've been noticing you've been wearing some fancy socks lately. Any reason? What's fancy about that? Hey, here's a tip, by the way. Hey, here's a tip. Uh, 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 guys, if you want girls to find you attractive, when, when they are looking at your leg, because be, their eye will be drawn by the sock, pull it down a little bit, and that mark that the elastic makes... This is from Darren in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I've never heard of the place. You ever been there? Love it. Okay. Love it. Love it. Okay. <laughs> this is a dear GP, the Ferguson Secretariat! Who's that at the door? Hi. Hi. Uh, GP and the Virgo, I met this insanely hot girl in my anthropology class and I asked her out. The problem is she wants to go dancing and I'm terrible. How can I avoid ruining this? Well, I'm... <laughs> you're not terrible at dancing. Even if you think you're terrible, you're not terrible at dancing. The people who are terrible at dancing are the people that think they are good at dancing. They're like, oh, get my boots is going to put her off. If you say, I'm a really terrible dancer, but I think you're sensational, so I'm willing to make a fool of myself, she's yours. And then... <laughs> you know, Craig, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? I've always wondered, when it does come to dancing, yeah. I, I'm not a great dancer when it comes to sexy dancing, you know, like really sweeping someone off their feet, but I can dance funny. I can do imitations of dances and make people laugh. But ultimately, does a woman want to be swept off her feet and have a great dance, or do they like to laugh? Is laughing sexy? That was an uh, in-room email from Jeffrey Peterson from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think that the, the, whole, the whole fallacy here, the, full, the, whole, the, 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 the reason this is all wrong, is because it says, do women like this or do women like that? Which is ridiculous. Some women like this and some women like that. They are individuals. The way to a woman's heart is listen to the woman and think which, you know... You see what I did? You see? I was right there. They were right there. They were right there. If I'd have lifted up my sock and done that... No! Oh, women are the worst. Ugh. Actually, they're not. They're not. They're the best. <laughs> I agree with everything you say. <laughs> I agree with everything you said. We're out of time. Uh, what's happening now, Jeff? Now, we are going to go to more commercials. Don't say it like that, like it's a bad thing. That's <laughs> Sorry, let me start over. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to some more commercials. Yeah. Brought to you by Sexy yeah. Dance. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> what do you think, man? Did you enjoy it? I loved it. I thought it was uh, really... What was the best part? When you were in the pod getting that thing sucked out of you? Uh, coming back out actually was great. Co coming back out of what? Of Jeff. 
<laughs> oh, body yeah. of his bones. Oh, yeah. No, the out. pod. You're coming out of the pod. Yeah, coming when out. When we get you out using the knives and hot butter. I loved it. And uh, and I thought uh, you were great. And I thought Robin Williams Robin was, was incredible. Today. Didn't Robin look well? He looks great. You know, what, you know why he looks so well? Clean shaven. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You know, it's something I like in someone who's got a pretty boyish face, as I like a clean-shaved. <laughs> Nothing worse than a young, handsome <clears throat> man with a giant hairbicious. Hairbicious? Hairbicious, yeah. Hairbicious. It's a, a cross worst. between herbs and vicious. Uh, it's, uh, they're uh, they're very. Have you ever been? Um, have you ever smoked uh, herb? Um. Mary Jane. Marijuana? Marijuana. Uh, no, you haven't, of course, for legal reasons. No, 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 I don't uh, do it. I don't, actually, I, I, I don't like that stuff. No, I don't either. I don't care for it. I prefer huffing paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do too. It's what all the celebrities are doing to be cool, kids. Yeah. It's not. It's not. I love any, you know, I love all those inhalants. Glue, paint. Um, those things that you get when your nose is blocked up. What are they called again? Fix? Uh, no, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they're called that. You unscrew that, it, you put it in your you nose. You unscrew it, put it in your I nose. I love that. What was that? Cocaine. What is that called? Cocaine. Oh, yeah, cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine, yeah. Cocaine. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's the best. Yeah. That is the best stuff. Yeah, it is. So, the beer, then, is that going to stay, do you think? Well, uh, I just have it for professional reasons. Um, um, you're doing porn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing some porn. And it's, it's, uh, you're doing it for, it's for a part, then? Yeah, it's for a part, and uh, then I'll shave it off. It, you know, I always think about beards, and this is why I don't grow one. It's because it tells everyone what your pubes look like. <laughs> you have a, there, it's true. Right no, there, it is true. you say. It is true. I mean, if you've, got, if you've got ginger here, it's ginger down below. Is that right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And if you're graying in your beard, snow in the basement. Wow. Um... Yeah. Snowing in the basement. Snow in the basement, yeah. That's I hate snow, that. snow in the roof, snow in the basement, yeah. Do some people um, shovel the snow out of their basement, if you know what I'm saying? Do some people who darken it back. Oh, you mean. <clears throat> do they. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if you can. Do people do that? What, things. dye things down there? Yeah. Well, what's the point, man? I don't know, but do they? I wonder. I don't know. I bedazzle. What I do is I bedazzle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It draws the eye. Wow. Yeah. You have a bedazzler. I do. Wow. Speaking of Peter Cook. Oh, yeah. He, he did a movie called Bedazzled. Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, One of the best movies ever made. You tied it all together like it was a real show there. I've been thinking about that one for about for a long hour. time. <laughs> well, we're done here. I think, I think you were excellent. I'm, it's always nice to see you. It's always great to see you. And, uh, maybe and now we, everybody knows what your pubes look like. Well, there's always room for surprises. Think about that <laughs> as you finish your reefer. Good night, everybody. Good night. Pretty well directed there. You like that? Yeah, that was really yeah. good. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a fantastic actor. He's in a new movie, Moonrise Kingdom. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely and adorable Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Jason Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. How are you, pal? I'm great. How are you? You know, I'm all right. You look great. I love your hair. I, I, Likewise. I think, well, thank you. And I love your suit. Looks great. You look just great. Likewise. I like your suit. I wish I had a three-piece suit. It's so nice. Well, don't you? You must have a little money now. You've been to a couple of movies. Yeah, you could get one. Are they much more expensive? No, really. It's just the extra material for this. You know, 
That's not yeah. very much. I love it. I love it. I want to get one of those. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can have this one, but it'll be too big. Do you own the suits that you wear on the show? Do I you? own everything you see here. Wow. This is my furniture. That is my cup. These Great. are my cameras. That is my gay robot skeleton. Everything oh. is mine. I didn't. Oh, that's great. Oh, yes. lucky. Did you bring all this stuff with you, or was it from Scotland? When I originally, this. when I came over, they said. When I came in from Scotland, they said, "What are you doing here?" I said, "Hopefully, a late night show." Uh, <laughs> well, it is good to see you, and uh, I'm. I heard about your new director. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, your oh, new your new director. Oh, your new director. Oh, your new director. Did, did, have you ever had one? Well, no, but I wanna. I wanna. You, you wanna get one? Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I wanna know about it because you know I will have to get one at some Eventually, point. Eventually, yeah, yeah. Um, what? Can I just ask you a couple questions? Sure. When you were speaking about it earlier, you were awake, watching. While I was talking? No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, yeah, you were yeah. awake while you were. But you were watching your colon. And then they then they knock you out. Actually, I kind of that's not really true. What okay. really happened was that I was I was in there, and they um, you know I was talking to them. Then they put me out, and then they showed me a movie of my colon later. No. Yes. They show it to you. Yeah, it was very well edited. No. <laughs> wow. And what is it like to see? Well, that? you know, I have to say, did you ever see a movie called Fantastic Voyage with Raquel Welch? Yes, of course. Uh, where everybody shrinks, they're yes. really small, and they go inside someone's just like that. Wow. <laughs> Except that Raquel Welch, unfortunately, was not hiding anywhere in. Uh, well, but uh, but know. otherwise uh, is spectacular. And I have to say, and I know you're not big on drugs, but <laughs> but the uh, <laughs> but the, uh, the the drugs really. Well, you see, what happens is uh, anesthesiologist is someone who is a, is a doctor. Sure. You know, I. I sure. <laughs> you're saying they're not doctors? Not really. Dude, are you mad? No, I know. I guess they are technically. But keep going. They're sort of like, whatever. <laughs> Are you saying that? I like do all my own anesthetizing <laughs> before I come in. I just say I'll do that. I'd like to do I have my own ritual before I come in. Well, all I'm saying is that the anesthesiologist, this is someone who's studied for years and years and years to give the correct yes. amount of drugs at the right time. Yes. Now, I'm not used to that. <laughs> Anytime I've taken drugs before, it was, it was getting them from someone who probably didn't finish <laughs> elementary school. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the, so the dosages were probably wrong. It's not that I am an alcoholic and an addict. I just got the wrong dose. At the wrong time. At the wrong time. You're not doing this correctly. This person is trained to sit there. They watch. They're watching a the clock. They've taken all of your vital signs. Right. And they know what they're doing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I said. But you don't care about that. I don't care about it. Well, uh, I don't care about it. No, I care about you it. I I convince myself. No, I would. I care about it, and there have been times when I've had to be knocked out for, you know, for a movie, for, for a movie, yeah. a TV show, a play, uh, all different kinds of reasons to be put under. And it is amazing <laughs> how uh, when you are you, you know, you are in some way thinking, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to fight this. I'm gonna see how hard, you yeah, know, how, you if can. I can stay awake. And it's truly amazing yeah. how you just fall asleep. Instantly. Uh, just like that, yeah. And when I came back, I was like, it was like I traveled through time into the future. <laughs> I like that you said summer love. I did say summer love. <laughs> summer love, baby. Yeah, I, I felt very groovy. You felt groovy. I felt really groovy. You felt yeah. warm. I, and that's how powerful these drugs are, are because I, look at me, yes. felt groovy. That's... <laughs> You, I mean, you are groovy. Look at you. you, you I mean, you're like, like hipsters are trying to be like you. This is not right. That's yeah, not right. No, no. you are groovy. You're one of those. You're one of those born groovy people. I'm not born groovy. No, no, you are. I'm I not born groovy, cool. and I'm not groovy now. I'm not any of those things. I am not a groovy man. See, that's how groovy you are. <laughs> you're like no. you don't even know you're groovy. You're like ah, I'm not groovy. Yes. Well, we all everyone here. This is actually an intervention. <laughs> we think I, you're a little too groovy. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> no. I'm not groovy! Alright, alright, alright. Fair enough. Fair but enough. I want to know everything. I, I mean, we'll, we can talk more co about colons later. Okay. But I guess I'm just fascinated by the human body and Me too, about yeah. being prodded. I think it's amazing. Well, it's, you know why? I, I thought it'd be great though if they invent. You know how they've got all the apps, right? Yes. So, do you have a, a, a product that has apps? Yes, I do. Okay, right, yes. good. So, I said that right, didn't I? Yes, he did. Yeah. So, 
Don't you think it'd be good if they could get an app that would just like you, you touch it with a part of your body and it would take your vital signs? Oh my God, I would love that. You know, so it would just say, or it would just, like there was a chip somewhere in your body, yes. it would just send a message, an email to your doctor. There saying, will be. Blood, blood pressure's a little off, so go and see your doctor. Something like that. I think that that is, I guarantee you that will probably happen yeah, I at think some that would point. Be great. I heard there's some new app that uh, that is like a sleep app that suggests that you can choose what kind of dream you would like to have. You enter what time you will be waking up and then you turn it, you, like it's, it's an alarm, you set it face down and something happens with the light and, and your body, it registers your body movements and while you're sleeping it starts to emanate light and sound and it's to suggest a certain type of dream you might See, have. See like now even just knowing that makes you groovy. So right there. <laughs> See, I, I led that's not you. True. I led you in. Stop it. That's not true. Yeah, no, no, that 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 is. But true. It, but you have to send in the results, I guess, to the company because it's an experiment. It's like an app experiment. That's a whole other frightening idea to hide experiments. Dressed up in as apps. apps. Yeah, that's, that doesn't seem right. Right, that's not yeah. right. No, no, no. Also, I miss the old days when phones were were, were kind of like this. You know, I mean, there's no apps on that, buddy. That's there the, you are, that's a phone. That's the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. The old days. Yeah, that's the old days. Remember them? You probably don't, do you? And I don't either, for different reasans. You know, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The an oh, I went to the yeah the an anesthesiologist party in the 80s. Yeah, that yeah. was insane, those but Florida. But that's, that's just, a phone used to be, a, look, at there's actually yeah. a date on, this is like Antiques Roadshow, actually. Look, there's a date on here. <laughs> Jason, the phone you brought in is actually a fake. But the, uh, oh. no, it's not, it's real. But look, oh. 1901. That's amazing. It's written on there, this is a phone from 1901. Or maybe that's just the address of where the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 1901. Yep. 1901 March Street. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I know, and I honestly, I, I wish that I could have, like, I want an old, I want my phone, like, you know, we have children now. Yes, yes. Um, well, we're not well, you together already, as a couple. Yeah. We have. Yeah. I, I would like to just clarify. But we have children, and uh, you have two, I have one. Yes. But, you know, this whole idea of phones and music and what's it going to be like, you're a music lover. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a really, probably a really boring car. This is not why you came here tonight, but let's just talk about it. Um, well, but I can always throw a commercial and you can keep going. Okay, there. okay, you throw it a commercial. All right, we'll go to commercial and you'll finish this up. We'll go on with something more interesting in a minute. We'll be right back. All right, all right. Oh. Like that was actually a thing. Yeah. So, you know, it actually was quite interesting. <laughs> we were talking about the, the purchasing of music or um, or books yeah. or movies. Like you would go somewhere and, and do yeah. it. Like you would go to a store and say, I'd like the new pop record. Yeah. <laughs> pulp? You say pulp? P p or pulp. Yeah, yeah pulp. Yeah, no. see, you're groovy even when I'm... I can't help myself. You just grooved that's, right there. It's like a gro groove check app. Yeah. It's like makes whatever. Yeah. You, no, no, no. But I was just, yeah, but like when you have a kid, like now the kids, like when you download something, what is like music going to be? Like uh, you buy a record, you put it on, even though music is something else, still there's like this object and you're like, no. it's music, but now it's. And also a lot of music now that I listen to, I don't listen to it out loud. I've got headphones on. Yeah. A lot of people listen to music now. They just, I know. It's, a, it's, a, it's a solo pleasure opposed to be something that you used to enjoy in the company of other people, much like many other things in my life. Yeah. <laughs> E.T., a little E.T. Yeah, e don't. <laughs> See, why did a you little, have? You didn't have. A little phone home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want a phone home with that, now, do you? <laughs> no. All that, right, buddy, we're out of time. So what do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause, or uh, do you want to go for the big cash price? Cash. <laughs> what time is it, Shana Stevens? It's time for the big cash price. Cash price, 50 American gold. In quarters, in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Now. There are three, count them, three ways to win. You can either answer a question, available here on these question cards. Yeah. You can guess what's in my box. I imagine a box in my head, I don't know what's in it. You guess what's in it, if you're right, Jeff will tell us. Or, the third option, you can guess what Her Majesty the Queen is thinking. Here's, here's how that works. We've imagined a scenario where Her Majesty the Queen is in jail. Yeah. And... During her jail uh, 
term. Yeah. She's thinking some things. If you can guess what she's thinking during her jail term, yeah. you'll win $50. What do you want to go for? Can I try to go for all three? <laughs> yeah, right, but, uh, okay. Well, I mean, all right, right now, oh, yeah, Los okay. it's Los Angeles. We do that here. Don't applaud, you'll make them feel uncomfortable. Come on, come on, shut up. I don't like it, shut up. Come all right, shut it, first we'll shut do the question, down. you ready? <laughs> all right. right. I'm going to get all of them wrong, but I just... No, let's like, see, let's whatever. see. Whatever. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic, its capital city is Reykjavik, yeah. right? According to polls, what... True! No, wait, according to oh. polls, what percentage of marriage proposals are made over the telephone? What percentage of marriage proposals are made over the telephone? Is it B, 6%? Yes. Yes, B, 6%. You're on your way. You're on your way. Only two more questions. All right. I was confused. <laughs> I, I didn't know. It was either the, it was that or the other one. It was B or something else. Yeah. All right. Now, so you're nearly there. Only two more questions to go. All right. You ready? Yeah. Guess what? what's in my box. <laughs> my name. Jeff. We would also accept it 1901 March Street, but it is Jason. You're not. $50. All right. Now, is the answer to what's... Is it in here? No, it's like, in here. But, okay, but but is it... Ultimately, can we destroy that at some point in time and find out what's really in that box? No, it's not a box. That's a jail. It's a jail. Yeah, but... But it's not a real jail because, of course, no one would ever imprison okay. Her Majesty the Queen unless it was some kind of weird revolution, but that's not going to be I that. just want to so, break uh, it. At some point, I want to break that thing. But you, 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 can't, you can't break a picture of Her Majesty the Queen. That'd be wrong. No, no, no. We need to take her out of it. Oh, you mean like spring Her Majesty from jail? from jail? We blow up the jail. All right, let's go. All I'm right, ready. yeah. Man, you just, you groovy the I don't uh, me there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All Sorry, right. I thought you wanted it. No, I did. Yeah. You look like you want some groove in you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. You ready? Uh, yeah. What am I thinking? <laughs> You're thinking. I want more bread. <laughs> that is the correct answer. You win fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifty American dollars. Yeah. I really like my job. <laughs> my first guest tonight, terrific actor, is uh, latest movie, uh, Saving Mr. Banks, is in theater starting tomorrow. Take a look at this. All right. Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Jason Schwartzman. Nice. Yeah, it is rather nice, but they love you, and so do I. Do you know oh. why? You're America's sweetheart. Oh, well. Well, you are. People will love you. You're, you're just uh, adorable. Uh, <coughs> What's wrong, man? I, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate you don't like that. adorable? Uh, I, I like adorable. I, lo I love adorable things. Uh, myself, I love other things that are adorable. Um, but I really appreciate being adored by you and by you because, uh, well, I don't know a lot of you. Um, but I, I know you, and uh, I love you, and so hold for you to second. love hold me, on makes a me second. happy. Hold on a second. Are you in therapy? Because uh, I'm going to have to be your therapist. Uh, what's, what's the, well, I'm going to adopt a fake uh, yeah. Austrian accent. Now. Okay. It will help in this therapy. <laughs> so why do you uh, resent being adored by everyone? I sense an undercurrent of aggression and hatred. Yes, 
I, I suppose uh, maybe um, it's uh, so overwhelming to be uh, to have nice uh, feelings towards you. Maybe. Who hurt you? Um, well, I get hurt all the time, Doctor. Really? Do you? Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, who hurt me when? Um, who hurt you uh, on the way in here? Uh, did you drive yourself? I did. Yeah. Really? Good for you. Yeah. yeah. How was that? <laughs> I love it. I love driving myself. The, uh, one of the greatest things about living in Los Angeles, I think, is driving and and. Oh, well, you are making the. Ooh, la, la. Oh. No, I would say I'm not. And I, I really? Can, I, can, well, for me, I hate the driving. Do you really? I, that's the one thing that actually I I actually quite like this town, but the yeah. driving drives me crazy. Well, not mine, other people's. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I obviously I'm not like, I agree that it can be frustrating, but to be honest with you, I find that I grew up here and driving is part of my day, but it's also how I consume music. Ah, uh, and I find it to be the best way for my brain to consume music. Like, the, I, uh, listening to music with headphones on, I, do, I feel too disconnected from everything, but there's mm. some, and it's too close to my ears, but driving feels good. Like, listening to music and driving and... You like things, things going do you, so you don't like things near your ears? <laughs> Uh, like well, if I go I, like this and I start to get I wouldn't do that. Oh, see? I wouldn't do that see, if you I was you. You gave me the single <laughs> eyebrow there. I was like, that was like adorable my ass. I will cut you, bitch. That, <laughs> that's what it was like. No, no, I, uh, I, uh, do you think I have small ears? No, you have regular size ears. You think so? Yeah, why? Just because one People, time someone told me I had small ears and I, I thought it was okay. Well, I mean, if you compare them to my ears, obviously. <laughs> I can't find yours. Where no. is yours? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, no. Your ears feel good. Uh, yeah, they're nice. Actually... <laughs> I like that. They're nice. Mm -hmm. Odd. Yeah. Interesting. That's I like funny. That. I, up until now, I thought, I, there's no way I'm gay. And then I went, oh, maybe I am. Yeah. Now. You know, I think that's a great thing about life, is that every day is a little new surprise adventure. coming yeah. along. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's nice. But I don't think your ears are little. I don't think people should oh. make comments on your ears. It's not like you can do anything about it. That's true. I said, no. it's not like you can do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, it's true. Um, but uh, no, and I, uh, I love it. I mean, you don't like... I do like Los Angeles, actually, because my family are here and I'm fond of them. Do you live far from here physically? I mean, do you no, I actually driving? live here. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. No, no, I live, I live fairly close. It's about 20 minutes uh, if there's nobody around. And it can be, yeah. it can be an hour sometimes. I know, isn't that amazing? It's unbelievable, because that's traffic for you. That's how old we're getting. We're talking about traffic. And I like I like. And you're young, it. man. I man. Like I, I'm seriously old. I mean, you're still... There's not a gray hair on you. Um, no, uh -oh. I, I don't know. I, I don't think about gray... Oh, I mean, gray... Steve Martin went gray, apparently, at 19 years old. So yeah, I don't my, know if my it's a real went gray early. Yeah, it's not really, I, I guess. I mean, but do you... Uh, you ever gotten a speeding ticket by any chance? <laughs> Yeah. That's a bad feeling. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get it in L.A., though. I got it in Arizona. Oh, really? Yeah, well, they got that big desert out there, and it yeah. seems pointless taking your time. I, <laughs> I agree. Although, although the, the, the nice officer who uh, slowed me down suggested that perhaps that wasn't what they wanted in the state of Arizona. <laughs> what do you mean? He said, we don't want you doing that? I well, he said, uh, he said to me at the time, actually, I was going very, very fast. It was very stupid. And he, and he stopped me, and he said, you know you were going very fast? And I said, yes. And he said, are you the guy from the Drew Carey show? Because I was on it at the time, and yeah. I said, yeah. And he said, okay, I got you at 85. Wow. He liked that show. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I had to go to traffic school. You ever been to traffic school? No. Oof. Yes. You have? No, yes. I can't really talk about it. Are you in a legal proceeding right now? No, I'm not. But I, no, I've never been to traffic school, but I, I, so I did get, uh, I had a very odd thing happen to me recently. Uh, I was just in, I was in upstate New York, and I was working on a movie, <clears throat> this very small, fun, great movie called Listen Up, Philip. Uh -huh. And in one of the scenes uh, we were shooting, I'm driving. Right. And uh, they, I got in the car, dressed as, like, in, in wardrobe. Right. And it's just me in the car. Um, They've put the camera on the hood of the car, and I'm driving around, and they're filming me in the car. Well, I got pulled over um, by... I really did. I got pulled over by a police officer, and um, it's, it's all on camera, first of all. Yeah, right, uh, yeah. But I was pulled over. Is it in the movie? 
It's where I, it's, it doesn't work in the movie, I guess, because yeah. I, the, because my character in the movie is a bit like tougher. But the way I reacted on camera was it in character, because <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, I was very afraid and I was nervous and I felt that I had done wrong, which technically I had. Um, I was arrested. I was not arrested. I was uh, I was uh, I was pulled over for driving um, with an obstructed vehicle. Right, impaired vision. Yeah, and of it was. It was obstructed. I mean, I really couldn't see the road. Um, uh, that's why I was sort of driving like that. But also, and also, you're giving your best side to the camera. Yeah, I'm doing this, a little bit of that. Yeah. Acting all your yeah. way around. Yeah. yeah. And then I, but also, I didn't have my license on me because he asked me for my driver's license. I said I don't have it, and he said why, and I said because I'm not wearing my clothes. And uh, he said uh, I don't understand. And then uh, I told him that I was in uh, dressed as a character. It Ooh, just boy. kept getting worse. Yeah, it's. Um, I I'm not even a cop, but I might have to arrest. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. It was highly embarrassing, um, but also uh, something that I couldn't wait to tell my wife about. Yeah, that's. Which I think is a good place to be in your marriage. Well, it means your marriage is good. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you do embarrassing things and then you think, can't wait to tell my wife. Oh, my, my life is littered with those things. <laughs> well, we have to take a commercial break. Okay. I'm here with Jason Schwartzman. Welcome we, we, back. I, Welcome back. Hey, Welcome back. Hang on a minute. Welcome back, excuse, everybody. Excuse, excuse us a minute. Can yep. I, yep. Yeah, I, I do the welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I was just excited. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. That little gesture you're yeah. doing? Yeah, it's kind of mocking my welcome back. <laughs> Let's do it again. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. That's correct. Is that good? That's very good. I was like a proper talk show. Which <laughs> reminds me, we really should talk about your movie that okay. we haven't talked about yeah. yet. Yeah. <laughs> Shaving <laughs> Private Ryan. What yeah, is it? Shaving, uh, uh, Saving Mr. Banks. Yes. Saving Mr. Banks. Saving Mr. Banks, as you said. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, Saving Mr. Banks. Right. It's, it's about the. Um, it's about the um, the. Uh, not the making of Mary Poppins. It's about the uh, the creation of Mary Poppins as a movie. Um, it's about the, the the real story is that this woman P.L. Travers. Mm. She wrote the book Mary Poppins. Right. And for 20 years, Walt Disney tried to get the rights to turn it into a ah. into a movie, which she resisted. She didn't. She was not a fan of of Disney. And. Um, Finally, in 1961, he convinced her to come to uh, America and come to Los Angeles and spend two weeks with um, the Sherman Brothers, who were the lyrics and music, and this guy Don DeGrotti, who had written a screenplay, to sit in a room with these three people and basically let them sort of sell, sell her on right, right, right. and see what and, and convince her that it would be a good idea. How did it work out? Did they make the movie? It, they, 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 uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil it. Right, okay, that's fair it. enough. But yeah. they did, but, but, but in truth, she came and she was very anti, this movie being made, anti these guys. She sat in a room and for two weeks she ripped these guys apart. And all of it's on tape, actually. 40 hours wow, of it is on really? tape. And I, was, I got to listen to it, and uh, it's heartbreaking to listen to. But uh, anyway, Tom Hanks is in it, and Emma Thompson, who they're is... All, and, they're all competent, decent actors. Yeah, not bad, yeah. not bad. It's, it's, uh, Emma yeah, Thompson is like... She's a friend of mine, you know. She's amazing, right? Yeah, she's fantastic. It's hard to be friends with her, because she's got such a great rack. I mean, she's... Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll tell you... Uh, no, he's right. He's right, and I can. Thank I, you, I, Jason Schwartzman. Can I? I can. Uh, I can tell you actually. Um, I. I and I mean this uh, wholeheartedly as I tell you the story that um, we were shooting the movie. She plays this character who's very kind of uptight um, English woman who was wearing these very like tight kind of uncomfortable outfits. Yeah, you're kind of turning me on a little. Yeah, bit. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stay focused at this point. I am, okay, I'm here, okay. yeah. So, that, so, she, so Emma Thompson, when she'd be off camera, and it would just be on us, BJ Novak and Bradley Whitford, play by my partners, she would often like, take off her uncomfortable shoes, and she would put on, take off her clothes and put on a robe. And so she'd be more comfortable. 
Uh, and one day while we were shooting, we had to have like a very surprised reaction. And um, she was off camera doing the scene, and then she stood up and she completely, um, she flashed us uh, and, and uh, held it open for quite a while. And in fact, um, she was, yeah, she was topless on, underneath. I mean, it would be funny if she just did that, it was just pajamas. No, she was, she did that and she was topless, but uh, she had actually cut out, um, she had made uh, Mickey Mouse pasties um, to, cover her, to cover her breasts. And um, it's funny, it's amazing. But I will tell you, it's true that I, every time now I see Mickey Mouse, I think of um, breasts. And every time I see breasts, I think of Mickey Mouse. Well, and, then, and it is a problem. Uh, I'm no, telling you. Uh, well, I can see where I, that might yeah. actually. Yeah. But no, she's Emma Thompson. That's my kind of woman right there. That's my mm. kind of lady. And I love her. And she, she is amazing. And she she's smart lovely, and right? funny. And she's, if I could, I would somehow be married to her if there was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jason Schwartz, from everybody. Hi. 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 A terrific actor, a fantastic, really a fabulous person. You know, he first appeared in this show over nine years ago. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in a new film uh, called uh, Listen Up, Philip, which is in theaters now and on demand. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jason Schwartzman, everybody. Before. You never bowed no, before? Never You're bowed. a natural. You yeah. were great. Thank you. I'm so happy that we got to do that together. And I'm not, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. To, I know. To I... bow with you, was that was beautiful. Well, I enjoyed the bow with you. And I, I very much enjoyed the clip at the start of the show when Thank we saw you. you when you were a child actor. Yes, I know. I was... <laughs> That's before the beard. Well, well, it's funny. Now I look at that. Now I've got gray hairs. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. You know, that's you start getting gray hairs here and then soon snow in the basement. Oh, is that, is that going to happen? This winter? Oh, no. Well, I'm telling you, I'm like, I'm too <laughs> distinguished. <laughs> oh, it's no, it's cold a, down there. Mm, yes, it is. Too much snow. A little bit too much snow in the basement. I'm, uh... Because it's dampness. I'm looking forward to that dampness. Oh, it's fine. It's all right. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. getting older. It's all right. Don't yeah, need to worry about it. Don't go crazy and get Botox injected in your eyes or anything like that. <laughs> I won't do that. Nah. I wouldn't do that. I, I, I don't believe in getting any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, wait 10 years. You might change your mind. Yeah. That, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it was moving to watch it. Uh, you know, I've been here a long time. And yeah, you know I, I, I think it was five. I, did, I thought it was two years ago. No, yeah. no, nine years ago in a day. And here's another thing. I haven't seen you since I saw this movie. And we'll talk about yeah. the, the, the new movie in a minute. But I haven't seen you since uh, I saw Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, yeah. Which I think maybe in my top five movies of all time ever. Maybe, oh. maybe top three. Maybe number one. Really? It's, uh, that is a fantastic movie. Well, thank you it's very much. It's just a fantastic movie. Thank you. Wow. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that one. That was, you know, it just, it, it was good, you know? Yeah. It was good. Um, so well done. It was well done, well made, and it was such a pleasure to be a part of it. The way Wes makes th those movies is all the actors sort of live together and stuff. What, yeah. like the monkeys? Like the TV show The Monkeys? Truly like the monkeys. Truly. Like you all slide down a yeah, pole yeah, yeah. and get no. into... Yeah, like, uh, like help. We all live in one... Uh, really? It's true. He, he, gets a, he likes the actors to be close together. He feels that on typical movies, everyone's kind of separate. Right. So his thing is, let's all be together. And, and, and he, he got a small hotel, and we all li the hotel was only for the actors in that movie and the people who worked on the movie. No one else. 
and we ate meals together, and they turned the lobby into See, a I, hair I, makeup I, area. That's lovely. And it was, it was yeah, wonderful. That, that sounds like a lot more and, fun. And you have strange things, like there was one day I wasn't working, and I walked out of my room, and I heard these feet coming up the stairs, and it was Jeff Goldblum, and, um, and he said, hey, I'm going to get some soup. Would you like to come? I said, sure. I'm in this German town, too. I don't know anywhere to go. And eight hours later, we were still sitting there talking and having soup. And, well, Goldblum and, and likes the, to talk. Yeah, he's been here. Did he do this to you? Did he talk when he met you? Went, hey, yeah. you look great. No, I felt. Uh, yeah, he did. I, 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 I felt little. Mm. I felt very little. Whoa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. It was uh, so nice, though. Mm. Yeah, he does. Oh, hey, 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 come on. No, no. So nice. Yo, he does that. Oh, he's a no. He's, he's very tactile. He's You're tactile, like, yeah. He does all that, and I start going. I thought I was straight. No, yeah. it's, he's got a lovely touch. He's got a touch. He's got a, he, he knows how to touch you. He and knows how to make you feel like a woman, every I'm little, telling you. He knows how to make you feel like a woman who's in love with him. Yeah. And, uh, in love with him. Yeah. I, I went from myself to a girl as a crush on Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, I've like that. that. Yeah, me too. And, uh, and, but, I, but that's the way those, that he does those movies. And I think I'm happy you say that because when you watch the movies, I think you can tell that yeah, everyone's no, he's, getting along and stuff. No, no. It's, a, it's really a, spectac yeah. a spectacular film. I really loved oh, it. I don't like anything anymore. I'm such a miserable, twisted old bastard. What happened? Uh, what, 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 you, do you find that when you're watching something, it's harder to laugh or it's harder to get into? You know, a lot of it is, and this is a testament to your ability, my friend. A lot of it, I watch it, I go, oh, yeah, that guy was on a show. He's a douche. Or, oh, I liked him. Or, you know, and so I, it kind of takes me out of it. But I watched huh. the movie and I forgot who everybody was. And most people have been on the show. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I just got into it. And that's great. Yeah. That's something I won't miss about doing this show is like knowing everybody in what they smell like. Yeah, I, I had never even thought about like what it means for you to know everybody and watch these movies and have met them at some point. Well, it's the same for you, though. I mean, surely you go and see a movie and you know actors in it and you say, oh, yeah, I worked with that guy. He's horrible. I, I've met people, but there's no doubt you, on a nightly basis, are meeting people and I can't imagine what that would be like. I mean, look, soul, soul crushing. But you're a musician. Yeah. Soul crushing. But you're a musician. When you go, when you used to go see bands, you're sitting there watching bands. Are you into the music or are you looking at what the drummers do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, when I was going to see bands, I was looking uh, for like girls. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I was like, are, are you looking at that band too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, that's nice to that. Is that your selfie face? It's. Uh, this one? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of felt like Jeff Goldblum there, man. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Oh. ooh. <laughs> yeah, Jeff is so tall and wonderful. Very tall, yeah. Uh, I look up to him, literally. No, and, me too, uh, yeah. And uh, I, I love the man, but no, I, I'm, and, and I, I am not happy that you're leaving, but I'm happy, you know. Well, but, uh, you, you gotta move on, sure, you know, you gotta change, yeah. you know, you gotta hit the old and, because I was like, I was a punk rocker, and I said, you know, you don't ever get me wearing a suit sitting behind a desk. Ten years, man. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. You know, it's so now, the, like, uh, what happens to that? That's mine. Don't you touch it. I'm, I know. Yeah. I'm, I was just looking. I was just looking. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's fine. Why? Well, I, I think that's... that's come with me. I, me and Jeff are in the horse. We're going to walk the earth and solve crimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff, what's the first thing you're going to do? Oh, me? I'm going to get crazy with some marmots. <laughs> yeah, you you know me. He who smelt it, therefore dealt it. <laughs> you know me. Man. No, it's uh, uh, you know me. It's true. No. Are you a fan of uh, Rene Descartes? Yeah, I you know I think that it's funny because I you know I I know the uh, his most famous phrase, but when you explained it as he who, who it. he who smelled it therefore dealt it when you right. tag teamed on that, I understood it in a different way. Right, that's uh, what, I, that's I what we're they, trying to do. And yeah. I and I and I and I have a hard time with uh, philosophy. Uh, and, and such things, and then all of a sudden you put it in that way, and it's extremely helpful to me. Well, I think you have a hard time with philosophy because you care about it, and because you have well, a, a, a you have a good spirit. Uh, as Kierkegaard said, only uh, the noble of heart are called to difficulty, and that's wow. who you are. You're a, you're a beautiful, uh, artistic young man, and so you care about what you think about, not some Hollywood douchebag. And I've met a few. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I appreciate that That's so much. Uh, we should talk about your movie. Okay, though. okay, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can talk about everything you want all the time. I know. That's why you're one of my <laughs> favorite guests. Um, yeah. Are you, when you leave, like, uh, will you, in, do you have anonymity when you walk around currently? I have you, it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's it's fine. That's the best. Yeah, yeah. I don't need a beard. <laughs> I don't, but trust me, I don't get no, I, 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 no one recognizes me. Really? I, no, and I enjoy, I love, I'm a peeping Tom by nature, well, uh, I'm a, uh, 
What is the better way to say that one? There is no good way to say it. You better just say it. Well, there's, a, uh, there's an element of invisibility that uh, That comes I, from hanging around in people's backyard? That, that, that you can only get in darkness. No. Um, yeah. No, I was just thinking about uh, it just... You, we can move on. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with Jason Schwartz. Documentary Rivers and Tides. No, I don't think. Oh, we're back. Hey. Hey, guys. Hey, you, you look great. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you oh, too. Fuck. Yeah. Well, we're out of time. Oh, the movie, the I'm movie. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, th this movie that you've just done looks yes. good. Well, I made a movie uh, called Listen Up, Philip. Yes. And um, it's. Uh, it's my favorite. Really? To uh, after uh, Grand Budapest oh, Hotel. Well, I appreciate that. It's, yeah. uh, I'm very proud of this movie. Um, I play uh, Tutsi Frutsi, um, <laughs> who is uh, also a writer, a, a successful writer. Does that ever, ever happen? You get <laughs> successful writers who are awful uh, human beings? Well, it seems, it seems that there are a lot of successful writers who are n miserable not, people. Not just writers. Exactly. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, and the only reason I actually phrase it that way is because for, for a long... Well, I'll tell you the story is that I play a writer who has some success and I meet Jonathan Price. I love Jonathan Price. He's a great actor. He's a great actor. He's going to be on Game of Thrones coming up. I know. Oh. I know. I'm very excited. Me too, yeah. That's all I can talk about with him. Yeah. But anyway, he... He plays my mentor and he invites me uh, to come out of the city and, and live in his country house in upstate New York. And we're basically two miserable people. And it's like a mentor-mentee relationship. Mentee? Is that a thing? I, I, I said it and as I was saying it, I was saying, that's wrong. But um, I don't care. I don't care. You anymore. don't live by the rules, man. No, I don't. Right. I smelt it. And, um, and so I basically was saying that like, uh, so, uh, so, so, but it, it's a, it's a mentor, it's a mentor mentee relationship where I don't, I don't learn anything from my mentor. He actually gives me terrible advice. Be mean to people, be alone, be cold, don't enjoy life. And, um, I take this information and, uh, I essentially become mean to everybody around me, including my lovely girlfriend played by Elizabeth Moss. Oh. And I, it's basically a movie about people mishandling a good moment in their lives and kind of like how not to do things. And it was a pleasure to do it because my character is so mean. He's so... Um, mean. Abrasive. All right, abrasive. He says everything that's on his mind and I loved it. And I'll tell you something, I'm not a confrontational person. No, I know. But I will, I will confront people now. Yeah, you will? I've done it. Really? I almost fainted. <laughs> I swear to God, it's amazing. That's not really confronting someone when you well, realize, like, you, I'll tell you what. It was on the phone. It was on the phone. It truly, it was on the phone, and if they had, could have seen me, I was like, no, no, you don't understand. And I was like, I was like, you, you are not strong. You are the weak one here. And I was like, literally lightheaded, the blood rushed out of my, but I feel that from this movie, some kind of chakra of truthfulness and aggression has been opened. And now, don't mess, don't mess with this. <laughs> Jason Schwartzman, everybody. <laughs> it's nice to see you. The last time you were here, Jason Schwartzman was here, and uh, like it got, it got a little crazy. I and I don't, you know, and I thought you should come back when I, Jason wasn't here. I, I mean, we miss him. Do you? No, no. Do not you really. like Jason? I do. Sexually? Well, no. Really? Let's keep it right here. Let's keep it right here. No, Let's keep it no, right no, here. no, that's, uh, well, okay, okay. <laughs> You're probably right.